begin with that breaking news out of Providence on this weekend's homicide in the city's Chad Brown neighborhood. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. The victim has been identified as 28 year old Julio Ariza of Providence. Police also say they're investigating a SIP joint near the crime scene, which is under investigation. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo is live in Providence with what we know tonight. Sheena. We saw detectives back at that scene today. This remains a very active investigation. So far, no one has been arrested, so the focus is finding a suspect. A homicide investigation on Admiral Street, near where it meets Berkshire and Donaldson Streets. Providence police say 28-year-old Julio Ariza was shot and killed here on Sunday morning. I heard several gunshots. It was uh, about 5:10 in the morning. Um, I made sure that my uh, my kid was safe. Made sure my house was safe. My windows were all open. This man would like to stay anonymous due to the nature of the crime, but says he was startled awake. I saw the aftermath. He saw several people outside surrounding Ariza in the street. Soon, police and fire crews were all over the neighborhood. Providence police say this is the third homicide of 2024. A memorial is now starting to grow as loved ones remember the victim. Providence police say so far, no one has been arrested. And we, we, we spent a long time talking with neighbors today. They say back in 2018, there was actually another fatal shooting in that same area. So for many, this was not the first crime scene that they witnessed. For now, reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. Tonight, Providence police are looking for whomever killed 28-year-old Julio Ariza. Now, they was found shot in the middle of Admiral Street yesterday morning and later died at the hospital. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo tried to find out more from witnesses, and Sheena, I guess many were startled. A lot of the neighbors there actually heard the gunshots or they saw the commotion. The call coming in at about 5 a.m. on Sunday. And today we learned this is not the first time that street has seen a major investigation. Signs of a life cut short. Candles arranged together intentionally. This is where Providence police say 28 year old Julio Ariza was shot and killed early Sunday morning. I heard several gunshots. It was uh, about 5:10 in the morning. Um, of course, it uh, woke me up. It sounded like somebody might have been in my house. It was that close. One man describes the scene on Admiral Street. He says the victim was on the ground outside, asking that we don't show his face as police continue searching for a suspect. Before the sun is even fully up Sunday, a neighborhood becomes the center of a homicide investigation. There were several people out there um, over his body within seconds. For some neighbors, it was almost like deja vu. A man gunned down, yellow crime scene tape up, and detectives everywhere. That's because back in 2018, Providence police responded to another murder here, almost in the exact same location. Right at the corner of Admiral and Donaldson, a man was driving and shot in his, in his car. This is 12 news footage from that 2018 scene. A 23 year old man shot and killed in broad daylight. On the top right of your screen, you'll see a telephone pole with yellow tape tied to it. Today, that's where you'll find this memorial for the city's most recent homicide. And so far, no one has been arrested. Providence police also telling us they identified a so-called SIP joint in that neighborhood, which they continue investigating. Reporting live in Providence tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.